I did not feel good. This is worse than the first week of COVID. Good morning. Peter and Elijah are not feeling well. It's an honor to be healthy enough to take care of them. Speaking of which, I wonder if Peter wants coffee. He's upstairs in the bath, I believe. Yesterday felt really efficient. I used my time in a way that was efficient. Like I had a phone call at 10 a.m. and I had like 25 minutes till the phone call and I just cleaned the kitchen. I was like, wow. That was efficient. And I stopped one minute before the phone call, sat down, did the phone call, then I had a meeting at two, and what did I do? Oh, I think we worked on store orders maybe. And then, you know, it was just like, yes, yes. It felt very efficient and I'm very thankful for that. Oh, would you look at that? What do you see over there? What do you see? So anyway, we'll see what today holds. It won't be cleaning the kitchen because the kitchen's clean. <laughs> Unless I cook, which I probably will. We still have a little bit of soup left, but I made bone broth yesterday. So I need to freeze that or Use it for soup, I guess. If my boys aren't feeling well, these are the days we've been waiting for. Holding this baby, I was just telling my mom like two days ago, I was standing right there in the kitchen, like right over there. And I was like, this is so crazy. A year and a half ago, I was babysitting my friend's baby and I was wearing him and I was feeding him a bottle and I have a little video on my phone from it. When I look back at that, you can just, you can see in my face, I was just like ecstatic. I was living my best life. And I can't believe that I'm standing in the same kitchen wearing my own baby. It's really, really, really surprising. I don't know what the word is. It makes me feel speechless. So that's fine. I don't need to have words. I'll just drink my coffee and soak it in. All right, I got all that chicken broth bagged up and then it wouldn't fit in this freezer. So I took it out to one of our breast milk chest freezers and just set it in the top of the freezer. Um, and then once it's frozen, I can kind of stack the bags in this freezer. But um, yeah, so Peter came down, he wasn't feeling well. So he, it's been three and a half weeks since he had COVID, but he decided to retest because like, I don't know, is that why he doesn't feel good? But it was negative. So I don't know, I'm guessing this is just kind of an extension of the lasting effects of COVID for his body and probably for his as well. I'm, we're still kind of all in shock that I'm doing so well. We, I think we all thought that my body would be the body that struggled the most with COVID, um, but for this, at this point in my life, that was not the case and we're grateful for that. Um, but here we are just trying to um, help Peter feel better. Um, he's taking some meds and resting and also trying to stay a little bit distracted, working on a few things around the house. So um, yeah, 
but we're doing well. Elijah's been talking up a storm and we're having a good day. A good day. Um, I don't know if I said this. I have a podcast that I am being interviewed for. I need to set myself a timer. That's what I need to do. Because sometimes I'll like have it in my mind. Oh, I have something. I have a call. I have a meeting or whatever. And then as the hours go on, I like lose track of time. So it's 10 30, 11 30, 12 30. I'm going to set it for two hours. So I'll have time to get ready. Yeah, that'll be good. And that's where we're at so far today. just came up two flights of stairs then had to go back downstairs then had to come back up <laughs> okay Peter is really not feeling well so he's out in the hammock and I'm gonna try to set up for this podcast hopefully I can figure this out he said he could come in but I'm like no 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 I'll get it there's no hole in the computer that is this shape so I think, uh-oh, aha, uh -huh, yes, winning. All right, let's see. You may think because I've been on the internet for a lot of years that I'd be super techie, but I am not. I can hold my own as long as nothing ever changes. But the second there's a new operating system or something, I'm useless. Okay, I need to look for my email. Click the button. I need to click that button. Oh no. It needs my password. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I can figure this out. Oh, in other random news, because I literally just see an email about it. I went and had my vision checked yesterday, like my yearly eye exam, and I only did that because I wanted to order some prescription sunglasses. Uh, basically, I had some insurance benefits that I hadn't used yet, and so we decided to get me some prescription sunglasses because <laughs> this summer we went to the pool and it was so bright that I had to keep my eyes closed. <laughs> I tried putting sunglasses over my glasses, but it didn't work. So I went to Warby Parker, which is where I buy my glasses, or I have for the last six years maybe, and we saw the, the sunglasses, and so we were like, great, we'd like to order this, please. And, and they pulled up my account, and they were like, oh, your prescription's expired. And I was like, what? It is, and it was three days. <laughs> so um, I, we walked out and <laughs> then, yeah, I went yesterday and had the exam and it got worse, which was interesting. Not a lot worse, but um, my prescription is like negative 575 with an astigmatism in there somewhere. I don't know how it all works, but, um, so yeah, they gave me the new prescription and then we could just order the Warby Parkers online because we knew what style I wanted. So I'm excited about them. I also am curious if I would like the frames. These are the Oliver frames. I've had the tortoise shell, the black, the half blue and half black, and this is my second a uh, pair of the tortoise shell every like year or two I get a new pair and um, then I just picked out this new pair of frames 
that's like a little bit different than these and I'm like maybe those are my next glasses so I'll try them as my sunglasses and if I'm digging them maybe the next time I need glasses I'll order that style instead of the Oliver's but it went very similar to how it went six years ago when I picked these out my mom was actually with us when I picked these out we walked in the store it was downtown Boston we looked at some glasses she I think my mom was like these look cute I put them on they were called Oliver's which is so perfect I put them on, all three of us looked at each other and we said, those are great. And I've been wearing them for six years. So maybe it's time for a new style, we'll see. All right, that battery's flashing. So I was gonna try to get a couple clips for you. So welcome to the table, Mary, how are you? I'm so good, thank you so much for having me. Awesome, I'm so excited for this conversation and to be fully transparent, it is one that's kind of like, nerve-wracking too because I think it's so like it's such a I don't know it's such a conversation that is serious and has so much power and honestly for anyone listening I have watched Mary and her husband Peter for a long time and now they're beautiful baby um so this is really awesome to get to have this conversation so Mary to jump right in my favorite question to ask someone is if someone was to get coffee with you who shows up what can they expect when they sit down at the table oh that's good <laughs> Um, I do not enjoy surface chit chat. So mm -hmm. I'm like, can we just get real? Can we yeah. just be like, I had a hard morning or, you know, I, I don't want to sit there and just smile and say like, you doing good. You having a good day. That's <laughs> not my thing. So there it's very common for a coffee date to include laughter and tears. Wow. I mean, I don't know. I guess just some life experiences have taught me that sometimes there's just not time for chit chat. Like, mm -hmm. let's just be real. And sometimes yeah. realness is like laughing because you just farted really loud. And I <laughs> love that sort of thing. But yeah. I also love getting real and being honest. And, and a lot of times tears are involved. In fact, I have a tear in my eye at this moment just from your intro. So I just want to tell you, it's a real honor to be here. Okay, that was amazing. Thank you very much, Kirsten. And I think the baby's still asleep, which is perfect. Yes, so good. All right. Down I go. I just looked out the door, I mean the window, and let's go see if I saw what I think I saw. Oh yeah, Peter trimmed these bushes the other day because they got so huge and crazy. Okay, weeds, yes. Oh yes! Look at that! Oh yes, that a beautiful cucumber oh my goodness I'm so excited I kind of cannot believe this I threw seeds in that garden over there and the only thing that popped up a few tomato plants did but they didn't really make it the two cucumber plants and there it is that's amazing Elijah Lee Guess what we grew? Cucumber. Sing it. You better believe I'm gonna taste it. I washed it and cut the very end off. Mmm. Warm. Crisp. Incredible. Good morning, guys. Did you tell them about me? I don't think I, I don't think I've updated them since this morning. Mm. Guys, <clears throat> this is rough. Whatever my body's doing, if it's long COVID or re-COVID or, I don't know. I think this well, is- I don't think it's re-COVID because you're negative. Yeah, I'm testing negative for COVID, but. My chest hurts pretty bad. Um, like Monday. Like Monday? Which, today's Thursday. Yesterday was like, I felt like 
I didn't feel 100%, but I felt like a new person most of the day. Yeah. <coughs> if you want to try the cucumber, there it is. Oh, that's good. Well done. We garden. Cucumber. Anyways, I might. Achy. I have this cough, it's a dry cough. <coughs> I don't think there's anything settling in my lungs, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I do not feel good. This is worse than the first week of COVID. Really? I think so. Your eyes look sick. <coughs> and, and you're sure you don't wanna like, you know, go to a doctor? I just, I don't think, <coughs> I don't think there's much to do. Yeah. Besides, just let it run its course. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe tomorrow I'm worse. Yeah. I'll try to get a visit. But... <coughs> well, thanks for joining us on the sick days and the less sick days, as always. <coughs> Peace. <coughs>